Video opens to a wooded area backdrop. Big bold text and creamy yellow color reads, Sightless Living. All content copyright symbol, 2021-2022, Sightless Living. All rights reserved. Then disappears. Happy anniversary, Sightless Living. It's now one year. See now changes to Anita of Sightless Living standing in the rain. She is wearing a khaki landscaping uniform over top a blue colored sweater. A green and orange safety vest with lots of pockets. A blue colored umbrella style rain hat. Brown sunglasses and berry colored lipstick. Hi everyone, how are you today? It's raining, I'm standing in the rain with my umbrella hat on. I was trying to get to my patch of trees that I was working on almost a year ago and I still have not finished them and I got a new assignment, two more patches. But anyway, I'll get to them someday. Every time I attempted to go out, it was either too hot or it was raining like now. So I wanted to give a little update on the channel since we're one year old. If you're new here, thanks for stopping in. My name's Anita, this is Sightless Living. Please consider subscribing to the channel and following my story. Those of you who have returned, thanks for returning. I appreciate your support. Thanks for being loyal subscribers. And let me get to the matter at hand. Now, when I first got started, I said I would be doing videos every week. Well, let me start at the beginning. When I first was pondering starting Sightless Living, I was told, oh, Anita, you got to do videos every three days and they have to be an hour long. And then it changed. Oh, they have to be at least 20 minutes. And then it changed again. Oh, they only have to be three minutes. One minute, one and a half minutes. And I'm like, I won't even waste my time because you can't teach anybody in one minute or one second. Maybe you can, but I think they would have to watch it numerous times to understand what you're trying to say. Sometimes a video will be short, sometimes it may be long, but whatever it takes to get the point across, that's what I'm going to do. If people want to do a video every three days, good for them. I applaud them. But me, I can't do that. I'm very busy. I work with people all the time. I get hundreds of emails daily. Like now, I didn't look at my emails yesterday. I have a thousand emails. I'm going to scream. I get messages all the time. And these are from all over the world. People asking me questions. And I will actually sit up all hours of the night. And those of you who see me post two, three, four, five, six in the morning, you know, I'm either doing research and answering people that ask me questions. Because when you go blind, it's very difficult and you're looking for information, you can panic. Some people have even taken their lives and there's no reason to do that. I encourage everyone when you get to that stage, please call someone, please call for help. You can find help hotline telephone numbers in the description box below. I would also like to thank my copycatters. Imitation is the highest form of a compliment. So I thank you for that. And I recently did a video about getting your side hustle on. And I believe that individual was not using his own material. And that was the point of the video, which I think most people missed. But if you are going to do anything, always, always, always use your own material. When you use someone else's, you are opening yourself up to a lawsuit. Some people will act on it. Some people will not. Some will act on it with a vengeance. So please use your own material. It's okay with the ideas if it's not copyrighted, but I would check first if I were you. As I proceed in my blindness journey and the sightless living journey, I will try to concentrate more on my videos and let some other things go that I am working on. But I have a compassion for people. And if I see someone needs help, I will try to help them the best way I can. I can't even believe you can spend hours with some people and they don't even say thank you. 
it's sad because if you are getting help from someone, please and thank you go a long way. And I have to sometimes tell people after I spent maybe two days, three hours, whatever, if it's a lot of my time and I have other people that I have to get to, I will tell them, yeah, you're welcome. And they're like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, thank you. But you shouldn't have to do that. If you are asking someone for help, you should at least say thank you or please. Same thing when you call the app numbers like Be My Eyes or there's another one, Be Spigular. I don't know if that's still popular. The last time I checked it, it was up and working. But when you get people that are helping blind people and you're asking them, uh, do you see this on the floor or... You're just asking any kind of questions. What is this And when you're in the store? What kind of package am I holding up or whatever? And the answer, you could just say please or thank you. Because you have to realize everybody has feelings. And when you hang up with that representative on the phone, if you didn't say thank you, they could be thinking, hmm, I'm not helping any more blind people. They are the rudest people. And the reason I'm saying that is because I heard someone say that I was in the store. And then I turned around and I said, why do you say that? And I showed her my cane and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't talking about you. I said, I know you weren't because I wasn't speaking to you. But why do you say that? And then she's like, well, I helped this woman. She couldn't grasp it. I had to keep repeating myself and I opened up packages and let her feel it. I could lose my job for that. We're not supposed to be opening things that I understood she couldn't see. So I wanted to give her the opportunity to feel the item and she didn't even say thank you. And she didn't buy anything either. I was like, well, some people are having a bad day. But I hope you won't take it out on me since I'm blind. She's like, oh, no, no, I would never do that. But she says, I like to give people a chance. But the next time that woman comes in and I have to help her, I'm not helping her. And sometimes when I go into stores, people see blind people coming and they run. And I just go to the manager, because that's what they're there for, and I say, can you help me shop? And then they're like, uh, there's someone in your department. I said, no, there isn't. They disappeared. That's what someone told me. They ran off. As soon as they saw me and my cane, they took off. So that's what happens, too. I've also gotten some comments on the channel that people think I'm faking blindness. First of all, I've been blind for almost 15 years. It's not hard to manage, especially when your surroundings are the same. So I live in the same house, which I'm getting ready to sell and move. And I know it very well. I know how to wash dishes. I know how to wash clothes. I know how to iron. My parents taught us this from little kids. Maybe I was nine, 10, but my mom taught us how to cook, how to iron. So she taught us how to do everything. And I've been doing my hair since I was a juvenile. There's not much. It's usually the same thing. You put your clothes, you sort them, you put them in the washer. The washer does all the work. I even do hand wash for my delicates. So I do all kinds of things. I make my own bread. I make my own spaghetti. I cook. I grill. I do all kinds of things that I did when I was sighted. I've been sighted all my life and then went blind in 2008. So it's not that difficult to continue with your normal routine. So there's no way I'll be faking, but continue to watch the channel. I am going to attempt to drive a car. My spouse doesn't know it yet, but the last time I was working on trees, a couple of coyotes were out there chasing their tails. So I would like to have the vehicle close to me so I can just sit in there if something comes up on me. Because we do have mountain lions here which they call bobcats. And we do have all kinds of wildlife, turkeys, um, rabbits. We got a lot of brown rabbits. And the rabbits bring the coyotes because they kill them and eat them. And some of our neighbors have roosters and chickens and things like that. So there are a lot of wildlife. We do have fish in our pond, so we get blue herring and all kinds of animals, which kind of freaks you out because when you could see them, it was okay, but now, that you're blind you can hear them and it's a little freaky especially when they come up to you sometimes i'm sitting out here and i could be reading and chipmunks come and they like to hop over my feet and stupid things like that and you know they have germs so i don't really want them doing that so you got to read and stomp at the same time so that's kind of crazy
from time to time we get little black bears and you got to watch out for those because you don't know if the mother's lurking nearby especially with you being blind so i would like to change my environment although it's very beautiful and peaceful i still would like to change that up a bit i'm getting a little too old to be running from an animal that can run faster than I can. Especially those bobcats. And they are pretty big. They look like a giant cat on steroids. I did see one. I had the pleasure of seeing one when I was sighted. And it was behind me. There was nothing here. No homes, nothing. Uh, we didn't even have the fence up. But we had to put it up to kind of control the animals. Even the two-legged ones. No, just kidding. Yeah, well, the bears, they stand up. They don't walk on all fours and they do know how to open doors and they can take the tops off the garbage cans and they can do all kinds of things. But I understand the animals are even coming into the cities now. The coyotes, they don't really bother you unless they're hungry, but I don't want to find out. Now that my channel is growing, I'm so excited that I can be able to have a contest soon. Be looking out for that, please. And they would be for everyone. With respect to my channel, working with people in public, videos, social media, I go by this priority. First, family comes first. That's all kinds of family. Close, extended, family comes first. Secondly, my channel comes second. Well, I will concentrate more and get more videos out. They're currently backed up. As we try to put out videos, we either get a power outage or all kinds of things. Just like today, I wanted to do the video. It was sunny and all of a sudden it started getting dark. So I threw my rain hat on and came over here. And sure enough, it started raining. So that's what happens. Or it's too hot or it's too humid or there's a heat warning. And then I understand we're gonna have a very bad winter. So I don't know about outdoor videos then. After that, I will do the in-person things I do and help people. If you need a quick answer, I prefer them on the channel. If it's channel related, then please put the comments on the channel. I get a lot of people liking my videos and they give it to me on Facebook. I would prefer you like them on the channel, please. If it's personal to you, you want to tell me something that's a little personal, I understand that. And you can just feel free to continue leaving messages in my messenger. But anything channel related or video related, you like the video, please put that on the channel. Thank you so much. Remember, after we hit 500 subscribers, we will have our first contest. Prizes will be announced as we get closer. Okay, so you are looking at one of the brown bunnies that hangs out. They like to come out when we're out here. I guess they could be pets. Who knows? Maybe they end up on the grill. Ugh. <laughs> Just kidding. Regarding my last video with the saxophonist getting his side hustle on, I want to reiterate, please make sure you use your own content. Don't use someone else's. It could bite you in the rear. If you like informational videos like this one, or you'd like to follow my story, the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. So you will be notified each time a video becomes available. Thanks for watching and thanks for following me thus far. I'll see you next time. Bye. Happy anniversary, Sightless Living. Seed changes to a wooded area backdrop. Rolling credits appear in bold creamy yellow color text scrolling upward from the bottom of the screen. Text reads, Anita, hostess slash visionary. Mountain air videography, TM symbol, videographer slash editor. The rest of the text may be read in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye,